if you are okay with that, then you'll be okay with everything here. Before you do some of the questions that are on here, I want you to just do some general things here. What if I said, uh, what if we said, what does this represent? Write this out. And I'm going to use a different letter just to confuse you here. What is this the shorthand for? What would the what would the long way of writing that out be? What does this stand for? So we're we're going to write out some kind of a sum of numbers here. We're going to write out a list of numbers, and that's what it represents. So this is this is saying the sum of. So I'm going to write, you know, something plus something plus something. How many numbers are there going to be in my list here? There's going to be four, right? If I'm starting here and ending here, there's going to be one, two, three, four, right? There's going to be four numbers. This is the form that the numbers take. What's the first thing going to be in my list? The first thing comes from putting that in. So what's it going to look like? Is it going to be 1? It's going to have to do with putting 1 in there, but where do I put the 1? k equals 1, so where do I put it? Yeah, the exponent here, right? The first term is going to be x to the 1, right? You get it by just putting in that 1 in for, for x, or for k, sorry. k is 1, that's the first term. What's the second term going to be? We're going from 1 up to 4. We started at 1, so what's the, what's the second term? Where do I get that? We used k equals 1, so next we go to k equals 2, right? x to the 2. What's the third term going to be? x cubed. There's four terms because we're going from 1 to 4. What's the last term? Are we up to this number yet? We are, right? X to the fourth. I can tell this would have been better if it wasn't first thing in the morning. What about if I what about if that was different and it said exactly the same thing except there was different numbers in the beginning here? What if it said k equals four to nine of x to the k plus 2. How would I write that out? You don't like the x here? We can make it a number. It doesn't matter. 2. You want to make it a number? That's a number. It, it, it shouldn't matter, but there's a 2 there. How many terms are there, and what's the first term in my, what's the first term in my series here? Uh, how do you know it's 4? What do you mean it's 4? This is not the first term. I don't put a 4 here. To get the first term, you put this in to the expression. Remember, this is the formula for this for this series. That's the formula for what the numbers look like. This is just saying where you're starting with k or whatever it happens to be. The first term I get by saying 2, and I replace this with 4, right? 2 to the 4 plus 2. Or in other words, what is it? 2 to the 6. That's my first term. What's my second term? Instead of putting a 4 in, I put in a 5, right? 2 to the 5 plus 2, 2 to the 6 plus 2. So it's going to be 2 to the 6. What's the next one going to be? 2 to the 7th, 2 to the 8th. Where do I stop? What's the last term here? Yeah, 2 to the 11th, right? Because we got plus 2 to the 9 plus 2. The last term comes from putting in this. If the last term isn't 9, it means you put 9 into that expression to get the last term. How many terms are there in that series? How many terms were there? What do we have here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. If I had asked you to look at this and tell me how many terms there were, what might you have been tempted to say? Probably 5, right? Why would you have said 5? 
you would have looked at these two numbers and said, well, if I start at 4 and end at 9, there's 5, right? You don't start counting at 0, you start counting at 1. When these numbers were 1 and 4, there was 4, not the difference between them, right? 4 minus 1 is 3, but there's 4 terms. So think about that carefully. Is this a geometric sequence? How do you decide if that's a geometric sequence? Is it a geometric sequence? How could you decide if that's a geometric sequence? You can use sigma notation with any kind of sequence. It doesn't necessarily have to be geometric. How could you check if something's geometric? What has to be true? Common ratio, right? If I divide any two of these, if I divide those two, what's it going to give me? 2 to the 8th divided by 2 to the 7th is 2, right? If I divide these two, 2 to the 7th divided by 2 to the 6th is 2. That divides to 2. Every pair of consecutive terms divides to 2. It's a ge this is a geometric sequence, a series. Is this a geometric series up here? If you divide these, what do you get? If you divide these, what do you get? This would be a good higher level question, right? That's a geometric sequence because it has a common ratio of x. If we wrote something else here, if we said the sum from, uh, let's use a different letter here, j being 2 up to 4 of 2 times j plus 3, can you write out what you think the first or what the terms would be for that and decide whether it's geometric or not? Can you do that right now? I'm gonna... All right. These numbers aren't the, the terms themselves. They're the, the numbering you use that you sub in for J. Okay. okay. If you're asked to find out, if, to write out the sum for this, there's only three terms. I would just write them out, right? That's 7. This is 9. This is 11. If I asked you to find the sum of that, I would just add the three numbers, right? Is this a geometric uh, sequence, series? Is that geometric? It's definitely not, right? It's actually arithmetic by the looks of it because that's adding two. That's adding two. If you look at the formula here, this is a, this is a linear, it looks like a linear function. It's an arithmetic series. We're going to stick to geometric stuff and maybe with sigma a few other things, but take some time to understand what the symbols mean and then it's easy, okay? We're going to do two things for the last bit here. We're going to do that quiz that I promised you. wouldn't want to break my promise. And it won't take you that long to do the questions that are involved here. You have to, you know, look at the things, think carefully, write them out, write out the long version of things. When it says write out the series represented by that in expanded form, it just means you're going to have number plus number plus. You're just writing out the, the sequence of numbers all added together. I gave you a tricky one down here to think about. Not that it's that tricky, but think carefully about it. You might think of two ways to solve this one. Determine the sum two different ways. Just the straightforward adding up numbers way, maybe and maybe trying to use a formula just to see that you can do it both ways. All right.